Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to install LAMP stack on Ubuntu server using Ansible playbook. So we all know about LAMP stack, which comprises of following open source software stack, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and, and PHP. So basically, let's say you are working in a team, they are developing open source uh, based applications. So let's say you have to, uh, you know, configure a LAMP stack for them. So how do you do that? That's exactly what we are going to address using Ansible. So let's quickly go over the diagram. So if you look at this diagram, we have Ansible management machine. So this is the machine where we have installed Ansible. And then using this machine, what we are going to do is we are going to create another EC2 instance using Ansible playbook. Once we create this new EC2 instance, um, we are going to establish SSH uh, communication or SSH authentication between Ansible management machine and then this new EC2 instance. Once we establish SSH connection, what we will do is we will go ahead and then um, install a LAMP stack playbook on this. We will execute LAMP stack playbook on this particular EC2 instance. So how are we going to do that? For that, we also need to uh, make an entry in the inventory file because if we don't make an entry in the inventory file, Ansible would not be able to talk to the target EC2 instance. So we also need to modify the inventory file as well. Okay. Once we do that, and then we will go ahead and then create this playbook and then execute this playbook in order to install LAMP stack on this new EC2 instance. Awesome, guys. So let's see this in action. So if you look at the prerequisites, I have already configured Ansible. Uh, this is my Ansible management machine and I'm already connected to my Ansible management machine, okay? So as you can see here, this is the Ansible version as of today, what I'm using, okay? And then what we are going to do, uh, we are going to provision a new Ubuntu EC2 instance by creating a new Ansible playbook. So you can definitely click on this and then we will do that shortly. Once we create the new EC2 instance, like I mentioned, we are going to establish SSH uh, authentication between Ansible management machine and then the target machine. Okay, and then we will modify the inventory file in order to uh, you know, add the target EC2 instance to the inventory file. And then we also need to make sure that you know port 80 is open in the firewall rule because Apache's default port number is port 80, so that you know we will be able to access Apache after we install LAMP stack. Okay, so these are the prerequisites. Okay, I already have some of it, but let's actually work on this one. Okay, so you can also click on uh, this particular link. So this will take you uh, to a page, you know, where uh, this talks about how to uh, create a new EC2 instance using Ansible playbook. Okay. All right, so let me log in into my Ansible management machine. So I'm already here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then create a playbook directory. Okay, so I have created a playbooks directory here. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to follow the instructions here, which talks about very clearly that how would you would create a new EC2 instance, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then create this playbook. Okay, and uh, if you see this playbook, it's very easy, very simple playbook. Okay, let me first copy and paste and then we will go through this. I do have a separate video on this, so I'm not going to spend much time on explaining this uh, you know, playbook, all right? So if you see here, um, so that's our connection local. We are going to execute this playbook on on uh, you know uh, this EC2 instance, and then I have declared all the variables over here. Okay, and then these are the tasks. And if you see here, we are opening port 8018, and then also opening port 80 as well. Of course, port number 22 as well. And then if you also see here, uh, so this is going to launch a new EC2 instance. All the variables are being read, right? from here right and then uh, we are also adding a tagging as well all right so that's all so let's go ahead and then make uh, modify our uh, playbook according to our configuration so i have highlighted all of them in red 
so the first thing is we have to update the key pair so i would like to attach my existing key to the new ec2 instance so i want to use this key okay uh, this right here okay you don't have to provide dot perm you just have to mention the key name and then uh, we need to provide the ami id so i want to provision ubuntu 18.04 so in fact this ansible management machine itself is ubuntu 18.04 and you will be able to see that over here look at that so this is ubuntu 18.04 so i'm okay to use this ami id so let me paste there and then uh, i would like to use us east one so that's my uh, data center right so that's my region over here okay so i would like to use northern virginia us east one perfect so that's pretty much over there and then this is the task which is going to create a security group uh, all the port number everything is mentioned and then once you create the security group and uh, we would like to launch a new ec2 instance and if you see here the security group is being passed and then all other amid everything is being passed here region code and everything and then finally we are we are just tagging it okay awesome so let me go ahead and then save this playbook so now i'm going to go ahead and then execute this playbook okay uh just one uh you know word of ca caution here so when you execute on ubuntu 18.04 so sometimes it may throw some warnings so i want to avoid those warnings by installing or upgrading this utility okay so now that is done so now let's go ahead and then execute the playbook so this is our playbook name so i'm going to say sudo ansible playbook and then create ec2.aml file so let's execute so as you can see right now okay so this is very interesting so as you can see here it this is failing why because i have not added an im role to my ec2 instance in fact if you go through the prerequisites we also need to create an im role and then we have to add this particular policy to the im role okay so i already have those roles created let me quickly go over So there are a lot of roles I do have. So let's uh, see this one. Look at this one. So I'm going to use this particular IAM role, which already has this policy. So let me copy this IAM role. I'm going to go to my EC2 instance where I have installed Ansible. And then I'm going to attach. Search. There you go okay so as you can see right now the ec2 instance has the the ansible management node has this im role and that has that policy to access uh, aws services for provisioning ec2 instance okay wonderful so let me go ahead and then re-execute the playbook there you go so as you can see right now it is in the process of uh, executing the playbook which would actually uh, provision a new EC2 instance. So it is in the process of coming up, wonderful. So if I go back here, if I say refresh, wonderful. You see it? So we were able to provision a new EC2 instance using Ansible playbook, wonderful. So this is where we are going to install a LAMP stack, isn't it? So if you go back to this diagram, So the next step is, you know, we have to establish SSH communication between Ansible management machine to this target EC2 instance, okay? So how do you do that? For that, we have to go to Ansible management machine. So this is my Ansible management machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then create SSH keys. So this is the command, SSH keys and command. So I already have uh, SSH keys, so you don't have to override the keys. So let me copy the SSH keys there. 
so this is the public key so we have to upload this public key into our new ec2 instance which we just provision okay so let me open up a new shell so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do 50 percentage of my uh, screen is for my management machine and the remaining 50 percent is for my target ec2 instance so it is easier for me to perform operation in a way okay so let me connect to my target ec2 instance so this is where we are going to install lamp stack wonderful so i'm connected to my target ec2 instance okay all right so now what we are going to do we need to uh, upload the public keys into uh, the target machine right so i'm going to execute this command i'm going to open up authorize keys file and shift a that will take me to the last line and then i'm going to copy and paste the public key over there and that's it just come out of it wonderful and then i want to make sure that i'm able to ssh so this is ansible management machine so i'm going to go ahead and then ssh into my target ec2 instance 52.157 just to make sure that we are able to ssh wow there you go you see it now so this confirms that from management machine we were able to ssh into our target machine wonderful so let me exit so now i am back into my ansible management machine wonderful so let's go back now uh, let's move on to the next step now what we are going to do uh, we are going to go ahead and modify the inventory file uh, we are going to create a group and then we are going to add our target ec2 instance ip address or dns name okay so this step is really mandatory so you're telling ansible that uh, you know you would like to uh, connect to that machine using those ssh keys okay so let me go into my management machine so go to the end of the file so this is the inventory file and then as you can see here there are a lot of sample they have provided so i want to create a group called my group and then i would like to mention my target ip address make sure you specify the numbers with dot 52.157 and then we just have to tell what is our ssh key ssh key name or what is the username and everything that's it so i go over here that's it and then let's save this file come out of it so now what we have to do we have to create a another playbook right so if you go back to this diagram so we did this we also did this and then the next step is to create this uh, playbook okay so i have already provided the sample playbook over here so this is the playbook what we are going to create so as you can see here this playbook contains two different tasks this is for performing update right so you're going to update your ubuntu packages and then this is where we are going to uh, start installing lamp stack so as you can see here i have declared packages here so this is a variable okay so we are referencing from here the variables is declared here and then as you can see here i would like to install apache mysql and php right so everything is here all right so let's go ahead and then uh, create this playbook and this has to be executed on ansible management machine okay so let me go ahead and then copy the playbook so this is the most important thing if you see here so you are saying that this is your uh, the name of the group in your inventory file so remember we have created this particular entry in the inventory file and then we have added our target ip address and then all other information right so ansible is smart enough to understand it will you know pick up all the host under this particular group when you execute this playbook okay all right so let's save this 
Now let's go ahead and then execute this playbook. Install lamb.aml. So let's go ahead and then say yes. So it's gonna take few, uh, maybe a minute, I guess, minute or two in order to install these three different software. It's going to install Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Awesome, so everything have been installed. So how do you verify everything has been installed? So let's start with Apache. So Apache's default port number is 80. So I'm going to go to my AWS console and this is my target EC2 instance. Let me copy the public DNS name. So go to browser and then enter. There you go, you see here now? So this is the Apache welcome page. So this confirms that Apache have been installed on the target EC2 instance, so wonderful. Let's also go ahead and then verify if PHP is being installed. There you go, look at here, PHP also being installed. And then let's also confirm that MySQL also installed. Wow, there you go, look at here. So MySQL also got installed as well, right? So yeah, so this is how guys, you know, this is how you can configure or install LAMP stack using Ansible on your Ubuntu EC2 instance. Thank you for watching.